All right, guys, so super short unboxing at the top half of that video. You know you guys really aren't getting too much these days anyway. Cable, phone, booklets, SIM removal tools, pretty much all, but let's take a quick tour of the device. Obviously, you got that front. I'm obviously getting the phone ready, getting it set up for you guys. Come on that side, you have your buttons, normal Samsung, and then you have your matte white colorway here. Absolutely in love with this colorway. The matte feels oh so good. Obviously, as they always say, good in the hands. You guys know how that goes. Camera housing, I actually like this compared to, I'll bring it over here, the S21 Ultra, where you kind of have the uh, camera housing as that big hump. I know a lot of people seem to like the S21 Ultra better. I just like how much more sleek this looks. And again, that's all personal preference. So like I said, whatever floats your boat or whatever the case may be, there's a top side, same as the S21 Ultra. You got nothing there on that side. Bottom, you have your normal buttons and cutouts with that S Pen being built in right there. We'll pull that out here in just a second. But yeah, pretty much, like I said, super standard for uh, Samsung devices. You get that nice, subtle haptic feedback when you pull out the S Pen. Still a fan of that. All the S Pens are black this year with the little housing at the top reflecting whatever color device you have. So super dope. You can just pop that right in. And I also got to throw in some quick praise, yo. Shout out to Samsung. They were able to not just give you that S Pen silo built in, but they were also able to um, do it while maintaining a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. On the uh, Note 20 Ultra, I remember, they had to decrease the battery by about uh, 500 milliamp hours to fit that S Pen in there. But they were able to do it, man. Like I said, I'm super, super excited about that. Doesn't seem like you're really sacrificing anything. Um, I know a lot of people are looking at these early battery tests and things like that, but let's get the phone officially launched, get whatever, you know, day one updates come out and then we can kind of critique or whatever the case may be from there. But that's pretty much it in terms of the kind of overview. I'm kind of bringing the S20 one Ultra, and I'll just kind of boot this one up too so you guys can see with the screen on, but pretty much in terms of that front view, I would say the S22 Ultra is about the same in terms of height, but it is a little bit wider. It's like a hair bit wider. You can feel it when you're holding the device for sure, but like I said, just a hair bit wider. Buttons and all that stuff are exactly the same. Like I said, from a design perspective, the only real thing you're gonna notice a difference has to be that camera housing in terms of display, and obviously you don't have the S Pen silo built into the bottom of the S21. But like I said, again, fairly, fairly, at, at least I would say for the time being right now, seems to be some minor improvements, but I'm still excited nonetheless to really dig into this S22 Ultra. You guys already know, case journey's already in the works, camera comparisons, camera reviews, battery reviews, the whole nine yards, anything you wanna know about this device, I'm going to be covering it with my coverage on the S22 Ultra. So drop me a comment down below as I go ahead and finish getting this set up for you guys. Let me know what you guys are interested in seeing, what you guys wanna know about this particular device. Like I said, I'm pretty much open to do pretty much whatever you guys want or, or need in terms of coverage for the device, but definitely drop me down a comment. As always, guys, this is Ike's Tech Talk. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Peace out, guys. Catch you on the next video.